Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Our topic today is, has my partner checked out of our relationship? Well, this is a good question for anybody in a relationship because you always need to pay attention to what's going on. But a lot of us don't. We become very routine, we have patterns that we follow all the time, and we can be a little predictable. So what you want to do is really, really look at what's happening. What has changed within your partnership in the last, say, five months? Have you noticed anything that's a little bit out of character? Is there communication problems? Are you talking to each other? Are you listening to each other? And more importantly, are you actually hearing what they're saying? Because the minute somebody tunes out of, of a partnership, they're actually on their way to checking out. And I know this sounds horrible because you like to think that you can just keep things going and yes, relationships become a little routine, that's just the way it goes, but they don't have to be boring. And you don't wanna be the last person to know that your partner is starting to move away. You have to keep things fresh all the time. I don't care if you've been married for 15 or 20 years. You need to reinvent things. You need to get things happening all the time that keeps you guys alive and happy. You don't want to get into that place where it becomes a, like Groundhog Day, same thing over and over and over again. This is when people start checking out. They're bored. So what are the signs? What are things to look out for if you're worried this is happening in your home? Is my partner making decisions about maybe not wanting to be here anymore? Can I save this? Can I stop this? Whenever they start moving away from you, they actually literally start going out the door more. And this is a really big sign. Like I know couples can be really busy with lots of different things going on in their life, but when they start getting busier in the sense that you're not doing anything with you anymore, You've got the basics, maybe picking the kids up or, or going to events with uh, work or something like that. But when you, they start pulling away more and more, they're, they're on the way to making some changes in their life. And you don't want to let it go on for very long. If they start changing their look, they've got a new, new wardrobe, they're going out more with their girlfriends or guy friends, pay attention to what's changed. What's going on? Don't sit there and just say, oh yeah, well, you know, that's just what happens in every relationship. If the sex is stopped completely, I don't care what anybody says out there, unless there's a medical reason, there's something going on, okay? Because that is what you want to always be romantic and keep the intimacy alive, because that is the glue. Communication and physical contact is the glue of a long-term relationship. You're going to bed at different times. You're watching different TV shows in separate rooms. You're having your friends over all the time or going out to see your friends and you're not including each other. You're doing completely separate things. This is not okay to be in a committed relationship. Even if you think that's just the course and the way things go, it really shouldn't end up that way if you want to be in a long-term relationship with your partner. If you're both okay living separately, that's okay. That's your choice, that's what you wanna do, no problem. But if you're coming to this video, you're coming here because you're worried that your partner's checking out because you've noticed something. And that's very important to pay attention to. So you've done the first step, which is great. You're, you're listening to your instincts. You're, you're paying close attention to something that's changed within your home life and you're worried about it. So now you gotta step it up. You step it up by taking charge and being the person that makes things fun around the home. Don't think you've lost them. A lot of times when they're getting checked out and it's been going on for over a year, it can be hard to bring them back full circle again. But if you get in there and pay close attention early on with the changes, always be aware of what's going on within your relationship. I think the hardest thing that when I'm dealing with people when I'm coaching them is they knew things were changing, 
but they let them change. And that is a problem. You should always be on top of what's going on, what's trans transitioning within the years of your of your marriage or your or your common law, whatever it is. You don't want to pretend you don't notice it or you don't see it or feel it. So if you feel your partner's checking out, start making changes by just being a little bit more assertive, more fun. Don't let them go to bed at a different time to you. Stay up, be with them. Go out, make it, make an effort to get out and go do things together outside the home. Sometimes we get really bored within our environment, when we're, especially right now with everything going on. If you can get out for a walk, get out, literally smell the flowers, go have a coffee somewhere and talk. Talk like you used to when you first met. Go have a couple of coffee dates. That's not expensive. It'll just get you out of the environment that's probably making you feel squashed and just not very comfortable right now. So you can save it, but don't let it go on for too long. Because once they check out, it's only a matter of time until they actually leave. So play, play a part in keeping your relationship in a really happy place. Takes two people. Takes two people to make it, takes two people to break it. So thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please let me know of any comments, uh, questions you have. I love to hear from all of you. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thanks so much. Thanks for tuning in today. Bye-bye.